Come on, let's appreciate our bishop as he sits down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we wave in the air? One as if you were. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them it's good to see you in the house of the Lord this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you. You may take your seats. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody with faith say yes. yes. I come from a church where we shout a lot and we are all under the same one roof like how Nakumat used to be. So deliverance, Zimmerman, is also uh, like house of bread. So when we say shout, we shout. When we say yes, we say yes. Yes. Uh, my name is, thank you Bishop for such an introduction, uh, it's an honor, I can only say it's an honor, thank you very much. I want to take this opportunity to honor him, our Bishop, our Father, for giving us this wonderful opportunity to come even and minister in this altar this wonderful day. Like he said, my name is Reverend Dan Kariuki, and we minister with Bishop Mark Kariuki. He's not only my spiritual father, but he's also my biological father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. I am a parent in uh, Cornerstone Academy. My son, oh, he's already here. <laughs> Allah. <laughs> this is the original Mark Kubai Karyuki. I am the Karyuki, uh, and it's good to have a candidate here. When you look at my hand, there's a little bandage that was here. We were, yesterday he told me he can beat me to running. So we said we are going to run. And sure enough, he ran. So as we were doing the second round coming back, I flipped on a stone and I fell down and my hand was scratched. So that tells, as Bishop is looking at me and thinking that they are growing, I'm also looking at my son and thinking, Nema Nidra <laughs> so we really appreciate thank you Mark, you can have your seat I appreciate you, please appreciate my son, thank you thank you, thank you very much we are so honored to be here this, uh, this morning and we are really grateful to the Cornerstone family led by uh, Madam Lydia Kimathi, we appreciate you so much together with our teachers and the good work that you are also doing, more so I want to say thank you for the DC family Thank you for having us and receiving us this wonderful day. The teachers asked that, Mrs. Kemadi called me last uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday and asked me to come and preach. I told her I have to get permission from my boss first so that I can be able to come and minister today. So we really appreciate and we are thankful and grateful for uh, allowing God to use you so that at least I can step foot on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Bishop and Mom Alice. We love you. We appreciate. And that dinner is still on. We are still coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. It is good for the, I want to say thank you for the pastors and the leaders of DC. My friend, Reverend Kibera. I saw Francis. Thank you so much. And the other leaders, we really appreciate. Joy, you are next. You are the Reverend also. I want to affirm that and it shall be so in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, I want us, uh, this lady standing next to me here is the one we share our bills together, is the one we live together, is the one we do everything together, and she's the mother to Mark and Joy and Duta. They're already, I think, in Sunday school. Uh, so I'll let her greet you, and then from there, straight on, we shall get into the word of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Appreciate her. She's called Pastor Eva Karyuki. Amen. Amen. Bonasifiwe, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, I am so happy and honored to be here. I honor Bishop Kemani and Mom Alice and your family. We love you so much. Thank you also to the headmistress of Cornerstone. We honor you and all the teachers. Uh, we've been part of this community for the last 10 years, and uh, this being our 10th year. So, Sisi Niwenyeji. Uh, so tunashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya hiyo. Uh, I also want to just thank God for this opportunity 
it is not easy to stand in front of people, all these faces, but God has given me the courage. And so I glorify his name. When he came into my life, my life was very chaotic and he just set order. And for that, I really thank him. Uh, we've been married for 15 years this year. Eh, tano. And we have a wonderful story that is told by so many people, but it's always good to hear the story from, from the horse's mouth. Cindy, but I think that will be for the second time because I'm hoping we'll be invited after this again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I don't want to take much time. Uh, before I sit down, I want to read Isaiah uh, 55. Can we have it on the screen? 55, 10. Oh, it's already on the screen. Um, can we read it together? For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may seed, give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. 11. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. I believe that we came here on a mission that Lord, the Lord decided for my husband to bring the word to you today. And so God is going to use him. But you see, you have to remove the lenses that you have from your eyes. That is what you get. If you see Baba Mark, that is what you get. But if you go by the word of what we have read, 5511, the word of God. The word of God will come and change you. Whatever situation you're going through, be expectant. Because as my bishop says, that only one word, you only need one word from the Lord to change your situation. Maybe you might not even listen to the whole sermon. You just need one, one word. So capture that one word and the Lord is going to minister to you. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Uh Amen, amen. Let's appreciate her even as she sits down. <laughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat> She's a quiet woman. She doesn't talk much. She's a quiet woman, but we've come a long way. Someone told me there's a big difference between a quiet woman and a silent woman. <laughs> a quiet woman and a silent woman. A quiet woman, if you have one, thank God, because that's a miracle. But if you have a silent woman... That is a time bomb. <laughs> Ask your neighbor, what kind of a woman are you if you are sitting next to a woman? <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, uh, receive greetings from our bishop and our papa, our dad, Bishop Mark Kariuki. He knows that I'm ministering here, even as he ministers at the House of Bread. And he sent me with his love and greetings. Do you receive them? Thank you very much. Uh, when I go back, I will tell them that you did receive his greetings. Uh, and like Bishop said, Gimayumako. Mutuine. Thank you, Pastor Kibera. You'll be helping me. Gimayuma Mutuine. So most of the things you'll see me do, you will be looking and thinking, ah, and fanya kama bishop. But don't forget what my wife said. Don't look at me as bishop, look at me as a servant of God. And if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, what are you going to receive? A prophet's reward. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, did you bring your Bible? Did you bring your Bible? May I say it, please? Lift it up high with a smile and say, This is my Bible. Come on, say it like you believe it. This is my Bible. It is the Word of God. I love it. It has changed my life. And today, this morning, I am ready to receive. The incorruptible, ever living seed of the word of God. I will never be the same. Now shout it like you believe it. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Put it somewhere and give Jesus a clap offering. It is also good to see my neighbor, Bwana Bushiri. I appreciate you. 
Thank you very much. He's our chairman in our neighborhood. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now, our bishop declared that this is the year of open heavens. Uh, and I would want to just talk a little bit from the uh, text that he has given unto us. But I'm not, my title of the message today is the power, the hidden power of the tongue. So if you're writing notes, your topic is the hidden power of the tongue. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But before I go there, we know that this is the year of open heavens. And as we read in Ezekiel 1, chapter, number, chapter 1 verse 1, that when Ezekiel was among the captives in River Keba or Cheba, depending on your English teacher, uh, the heavens opened for him. God chose that the heavens would open for Elisha, I mean uh, Ezekiel, sorry. And after, now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river Cheba, that the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. You are going to see visions of God in Jesus' name. Uh, that is our main text about open heavens in this year of open heavens. There are keys to doors. There are keys to such doors. There are keys to your car. The key you have of your car cannot open the key that I have for my car. The key that you have for your door will not open the key to my house. What am I trying to say? There are things that we need to understand or we need to get to a point and realize that there are keys to opening our heavens. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Keys represent authority. But there are keys like a key of faith. There is the key of asking. There is the key of tithing. Hello? Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you have a key of faith, that means you agree with what the word of God says and you, uh, you release your faith and your doors or your heavens are open. Right now, I like what Mama Alice keeps, uh, was saying when we were traveling around Kenya during the apostolic visit. She said, Unaweza kuzuiliwa pandi ya kushoto, pandi ya kulia, na hata nyuma. Lakini pale ambapo huwezi zuiliwa ni kuangalia juu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So if you can only look, the heavens are already open. But now that the heavens are already open, what miracles or what blessings are coming upon your life? Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we apply the key of faith. At times we apply the key of asking. At times we apply, that's why I want to go... Uh, um, uh, to, to come to the power of the tongue by telling you about the keys and then I go about the, to, uh, to, to my message. Now, there is the key of faith, there is the key of asking, there is the key of uh, believing God that doors are going to open. But all these things are supposed to be st uh, spoken by our tongue so that we can receive them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Buona asifiwe. When we talk about tithing, most of the time, uh, most of the time, uh, most of the time people don't want to hear that. But it is very important because I know I'm in a church that people tithe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. A story is told about a tither or someone who wanted to tithe. And he asked God, God, if you only give me a thousand shillings, I will make sure I give you a hundred shillings back. Because that is what is supposed to be the 10%. So this guy woke up one day and he was about, you know, going about doing his business. He got to a point and he met some few pieces of paper somewhere. He collected the papers and as he was opening the papers, he saw some money. When he counted the money, it did not get to a thousand. It only got to 900 shillings. He started thanking God, rejoicing and telling God, thank you, you are a good God. You are always faithful. Look, I asked you to give me a thousand so that I can tithe a hundred. God, you are faithful God. Already you have removed your hundred and given me my nine hundred. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is what happens most of the time. We ask God, we believe God for something. And as soon as God grants us our, the desires of our hearts, we change the story. Is it true? Am I in the right place? Now, give me Proverbs 18, verse 21. Proverbs 18, verse 21 says, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. One more time. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it 
will eat its fruit. I said again, I'm speaking for the topic, the hidden power of the tongue. Uh, give me again Hebrews 11, verse number 3. Hebrews 11, verse number 3. By faith, we understand that the entire, if you can give it in, in a New King James Version, that would be good for me. New King James, thank you. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When God created the universe, he never got some building materials. He never collected building materials, but he spoke forth his word. He released his faith. And he said, let there be, and there was. He said, let there be uh, the moon and the stars, and uh, let, the, the, let the earth ye bring forth. You know, that's what God did. He spoke, and it became. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we have read in the book of Hebrew that through faith we understand that the world was framed by God. God works or works in speaking. God works in saying. Anasema na kitu kinafanyika. Anasema na kitu kinatendeka. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When God speaks, the, uh, the things which were not seen become visible. Hello? Now, the word tells us that we were formed or we were created in the image of God. What does that make us? It makes us uh, gods ourselves. Like being, you know, small gods, so to speak. So that tells us that we are of the same seed of God. Bonas Fuesana. So we come from God. That means whatever we speak or whatever we release forth is supposed to happen in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When we speak, we're supposed to speak like God speaks. When we say, we're supposed to say like God says. The Bible tells us that two cannot work together unless they're in agreement. You have to agree with the word of God first so that you can work together with God. So that your heavens can be able to open. So that we can sit here the whole of 2019 and keep singing, oh, our heavens are going to open. My heavens are going to open. But if you don't connect yourself with the word of God, if you don't align yourself with the word of God, nothing is going to happen. And you'll just be singing, oh, 2018 was a kingdom manifestation. The other, now this is, the other one was elevation. I didn't see any elevation. I didn't see manifestation. Now they're talking about open heaven. I'm wondering if my heavens are open. Tell you the truth. The heavens are already open. It is you to connect your faith by the words that you speak. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What are the words that you're speaking into your life this very day? What do you tell yourself? What is the first thing you said this morning when you woke up? Oh, it's Sunday again. Ah, and Bishop has to see me in church. So I have to dress up and go. Oh, did you say, thank you, Jesus. This is the day that you have made. I am choosing to rejoice and be glad in it. What are the words that you speak to your children? What are the words that you speak to yourself? When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you say or what do you look? So, one of the worst things that we can all do is to speak negative things in our lives. Every time you look at yourself, you see negativity. Every time you unajiangalia kwa kiyoma, unafanya kitu yote, you just look and think, I am nothing. I am stupid. I cannot make it. I cannot amount to anything in this life. In this year of open heavens, what are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to your situation? The Bible, says, the Bible says, like I said earlier, that two cannot work together unless they agree. What does the word of God say? The word of God says, I am healed. The word of God says, I am blessed. The word of God says, I am rich and not poor. Even when I feel weak, I know I am strong. Even when I feel that I cannot make it, I know that God will make me sure, will make sure that I make it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I don't know what is your situation this morning. I don't know what you are going through this day. But I came as a servant of God to decree and declare that whatever you are going through, today is the last day you are going through that. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
our children who have just gone out, most of the time when we speak to them, what do we tell them? Do we curse them or do we bless them? If they come home and they are not right, you heard Bishop talking about how he found me in Atlanta. I know what he wanted to say and I thank you that you did not say. But I was not born a good boy, even if I come from a pastor's house. Unajua watu wengi wanafikiria ukizaliwa kwa nyumba ya mchungaji unatoka unatoka sande binguni huwa unaanguka Unauliza huku duniani mnaishi namna gani Hapana hata mimi ni mkenya na macho mbili damu yangu ni nyekundu Lakini zile mambo mnapitia ndio mambo mbio hapo hapa hata sisi watoto wa wachungaji tunafanya nini tunapitia Na hata si watoto tu wa chungaji I will come for that another day when I come in to speak about my my testimony and my life but what I want to say so that I don't uh nisiondoke kwa kwa ujumbe wangu ni ati we also go through the same things that you so to speak normal people go through blessed be the name of the lord so don't ever judge a pastor's kid don't ever judge another person's child because you don't know when yours will be judged and I'm speaking about the power of the what? The tongue. Because the words that we utter, we utter out, the words that we keep speaking are the words that have made us be where we are today. Words can bring you peace, they can bring you havoc in your life. The words that you utter every single day, they can bring you joy, they can bring you sadness. Did you know that just by saying, hi Joy, how are you doing today? Oh, you look beautiful, I love your glasses, I love the kitambaya in your kitchen. Just by saying that, she's smiling. So I have made her day what? Better. It doesn't matter what the conductor, the, the, the taught. Pale Mirema, alikuwa memuambia. Hello? Because you might have gotten to a vehicle and then the taught akwambia, eh, ni nindi, ah, ani wale watu wanendaya kanisa pale. Nini akutukane ama aseme kitu ikuprovoke roho yako. Na unajua mwanadamu ni mwanadamu. There are times you feel like you want to also retaliate and say words. Let's not pretend that this is a Sunday and we are holy, we are in church, we are holy. We all know how many times you are driving alone in your vehicle. Alafu mtu anakuja anakukata mbele. What are the words you speak? Please don't say it. Just look at your neighbor and it will tell you what they say. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. So every day we have an opportunity to sow good seeds. To sow seeds of greatness to other people. To sow seeds of, uh, faith, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of good things to our children. To speak blessings, to speak life into their situation. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But most of the times, that is not what we do. We don't end up doing that. But we have a choice, which is a free will from Jehovah our God, to speak, uh, to use our words negatively or positively. That is your choice. Tell your neighbor, that is your choice. But I come to decree and declare today that the many negative word that you have ever spoken today is silenced by the blood of Jesus. Any negative word that people ever spoke into your life, today we nullify those words by the blood of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is not just words that we speak to ourselves, but words that people have spoken into our lives. You are in Nairobi today. You are born in Geshagi, whatever Geshagi is to you. But there are words that were spoken when those wazes walikuwa na chinja mbuzi, wakibuwaga damu. There are those words that were spoken with our forefathers while they were facing Mount Kenya. There are words that were spoken by your auntie when she picked you up in hospital. Oh, kakega, kakega, oh, okay. But she said some words that up to date, zime kufunga. Uko Nairobi unashindwa kwa nini siendelei? Kwa nini maisha yangu haiendelei? Lakini kuna maneno ambayo ya linenwa ulipo zaliwa ukiwa mdogo. Lakini leo hii, nimekuja kutabiri kama mtumishi wa mungu. Maneno yote ya lionenwa kinyume na maisha yako. Maneno yote ambayo ya natuma, uh, ya natuma destiny yako ama hatma yako ikosa kuendelea. Tunayavunja katika china na Yesu Kristo. Wana sana. You shall not struggle in Nairobi. 
You shall not struggle in this Nairobi. In the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You cannot talk about the tongue without talking about a man in the Bible called James. James chapter number 3 verse number 1. With, I will not read the whole of it. I just want to concentrate, uh, concentrate on number, uh, verse number 3 please. It's only 12 verses. Please when you go home in the evening, make a point of reading the rest. And you'll see where I'm coming from. Indeed, we put, uh, we put bits in horses, horses' mouths, that they may obey us, and we turn their whole body. Number four. Look also at ships. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desire. The last one, number five. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest, uh, a little fire kindles. Thank you so much. We are told that we put bits in horses. And we know a horse is a very strong animal. But as soon as you put a bit on a horse, everywhere he goes, you are the one who is taking control of that, of that horse. The, the rudder is a small thing, kwa ship. But that small thing that called the rudder, ndiyo inaweza kufanya meli ila yote kubo unaona. Hizo cruise ships. Kitu ambayo mebeba maelfu ya watu. Kitu ambayo hiko na uwanja wa mpira. Kitu ambayo hiko na swimming pool. Na inaenda kwa maji. Lakini inaongozo na kitu kadao kadaitua rudder. And we are told as human beings that we can be able to tame them. You know, we can be able to put beasts in horses. We can be able to, we can be able to, you know, to, uh, the, the rudder can be able to control the ship. But there is one thing that we cannot be able to do to control this little thing called the tongue. Most of the time, we end up speaking negative things. Oh, mimi nilirogwa. Oh, mimi sita wai patakazi. Oh, mimi sita wai faulu Nairobi. Oh, mtoto wangu sijui anakaa namna gani sitawahi fanya hivi those are the things that we put inside and yet we know out of the abundance of the heart the mouth does what speaks so whatever is inside the heart is what keeps coming out but I, if you have been doing that mistake i come to declare that today is the last day that you will ever do that Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't tell people how broke you are. Don't tell people how you don't have money. Don't tell people that you cannot be able to do this. Don't tell people that you cannot be able, I don't know, mimi lazima tu ni hongane, diyo niweza kupata hiyo tender. No. Tell people what the word of God says. That my father owns the silver and the gold and the sheep in a thousand hills. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It does not mean that that is the case right that moment. You might not have it. You might not have anything. Even as I speak to you right now, you are wondering, how am I going to go back home? I don't have fear. But instead, speak and say that God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Not according to your pockets. Not according to your uncle who works for the government. Not according to your neighbor. Not according to, according to your pastor. But according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Somebody give him praise in the house this morning. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the ones who are defeated say that I am more than a conqueror. I can be able to make it till the end of 2019. And my heavens will have to open in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Mara mingi tumeambiwa, we can be able to control. Ata ukienda kwa ulimwengu wa wanyama wa kama samaki ama pale uh, wa kina simba kina cheetah na hao wengine ukienda kama asia there are people who live with cheetahs and lions in their homes why is that they've been able to control and to tame that animal bona sifuwe sana if you go to the sea world they are able to they are able to control you can see someone swimming with the dolphins and uh, the other type of fish they do that why are they able to do that because they can be able to tame them but the bible reminds us that it is very impossible or it's a bit impossible to tame our own tongue 
But I come to decree and declare today that the Bible tells us with man it is impossible, but with God everything is possible. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you believe that you can be able to do that which you can't even think or imagine, the one that you're just thinking that this is very impossible with me, that is where God comes in. That is where your story changes. That is where something, you are here, you are sick. You have been diagonalized. You've been told that this is the last year you are seen. And you have not even told the bishop, or you have not even told, it's only you and God and the doctor. Maybe even your wife or your husband doesn't know. Ni wewe tu unajua. Lakini shetani anakungoja unapoingia kwa bafu kuoga. Every time he is there, you are showering and you are crying and you are saying, God, how long am I going to live with this? God, this sickness is bothering me. God, this issue is bothering me. I come to decree and declare that your tears are drying up today in the name of Jesus. The tears you cried this morning are the last tears that you are going to cry in this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't allow negative words to come out of your mouth. So when you're praying or when you're crying, don't cry ni kama weda agea kuigu wereza. Omba ni kama unataka kuambia mungu. I am declaring that by your word I am healed. By the stripes of Jesus I am healed. And there is nothing that is going to stop me from declaring that in Jesus mighty name. Lift your hand like this and say, Oh Lord, come on, say it like you believe it. Oh Lord, empower me to tame my tongue from the spirit of self-destruction in Jesus' name. It is only God who can allow you to tame your tongue. Not by your own power, not by your own might or strength. Only God can allow you to tame your tongue. I told you earlier when I started that I was not born a good boy. I used to be a rebel, you know, back in the U.S. and even back here in Kenya, in my teen years as I was growing up. And it got to a point, you know, you only know the, you, you, you guys only know Bishop, come a Bishop Wenu. But I, but I, I have two, Nikola Pichambili. I know him as my Bishop and I know him as my father. So I know the father who tell me in the bedroom, to Asuruwadi, na tandika bebe, anatua yoktu na itu utundu. The same thing I was, I will, I'm, well, I used to do. Now he's a bit grown now. I would do to my son. But the thing is this. He would beat me. But one thing I came to realize even after I grew up, that he never spoke ill against me. He never cast me. Thank you. Thank you so much. He never cast me. He never said words that were not supposed to be uttered out of his mouth. Ata akidipika makofi. Na nitandike huku nyuma na afanya kila kitu. He never, we kao, hana ate, wato, kirio we, hapana. He never spoke such words. When my mother saw me around, my late mom, saw me around, walking with girls and young girls and enjoying myself, going to the clubs and doing that, she never said, she just said, si utafule tu moja, ukuja tu tukufanyi ya rusi. Bala ushido kizunguka na awa wote. Hello? So, words that you speak to your children. When I, I, I beat my son, I don't ask him where you came from. I know where he came from. <laughs> Me and the mother, we know where he came from. In fact, he was born in the U.S. So, I was there. And, uh, you know, in the U.S., they allow you. I know they are doing it in Kenya today. But they allow you even to be in the delivery room. So, I chose to be there. I will, not go that, I will not go that direction. But I was there. So I know where he came from. There's no way I can whoop him and start asking him whoever will talk about will Zaliwa Wapi. And I know Gikuy will say, Gima Yumako. Motuinde. So my father would uh, you know would beat me and he will tell me that you are going to make it. You will make it. One day you are going to be a pastor. I'm like, what is wrong with you, man? But look at it today. Is it not true? Yes. So the things that you speak to your children really matter. The things that you say to yourself really do matter. Please, tame your tongue. Tell your neighbor, tame your tongue. Tame your tongue. Because if you don't tame your tongue, things that are not supposed to be coming, you, cannot, you may not tame your tongue and find yourself in a place where you're not even supposed to be. 
just because of a word you spoke. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So you got to get to a point where you tell yourself, Kama, uh, Farasi, anaweza weko kitu kwa mdomo. Ata umbua, huwa tunaweka umbo ile, ile, ile kamba. So that wherever we go, it can go. Did you know if you feed a dog, you, uh, you unakuwa nayo kila wakati, unaipatia chakula, unafanya kila kitu, every time itakufuata pale unaenda. But kuna kitu ambao tumeshidwa ni ulimi yetu. Na ujue ubaya, ukiendelea kusoma James unapoenda nyumbani, inasema, with our tongue, we praise God, at the same time, the same tongue, we curse men. And most of the things are done when we are alone. When you are sitting alone, oh, rugai, oh, runeki, hehe, unongie mamboyote, ambos take unongie because of time. So, most of the things that we do is that we don't want to get to a point and allow the Holy Spirit of God and allow the power that works in God with, in us of God to control the things that we say. But I did not come to condemn you today. I come to decree and declare that if you ever or if, if there is ever someone who ever cast you or even ever spoke a word against you and that is what is making you struggle today in Nairobi or if there are words that you ever spoke to yourself and you are not able to do the things that you are supposed to do today is the last day today is the last day and today by the blood of Jesus we nullify those words in Jesus mighty name somebody give him praise in the house today. Bwana asifiwe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As I conclude, I want us to look at Matthew 21, verse number 18. Matthew 21, 18 and 22. I'll read that. Even so, Matthew, Matthew please, Matthew 21. Matthew Aha, Matthew 21 from verse number 18, please. Now when is that 18? Please. Okay, I'll read from my Bible. Matthew 21. Early in the morning. Now okay. Now in the morning, as he returned to the city, he was hungry. Uh -huh, continue. And seeing a fig tree by the road, he came to it and found nothing on it but leaves. And said to it, let no fruit grow on you ever again. Immediately the fig tree withered away. Uh -huh, the next verse. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled saying, how did the fig tree wither away so soon? Continue. So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith, somebody say faith, and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. Tell your neighbor, you will receive. You will receive. We have been talking about the power of the tongue and you have said we want to change everything that has been spoken into our lives. Either knowingly or unknowingly. Either with, with, our, great for, uh, with our forefathers and even with our aunties and uncles who spoke. At the same time we want to repent and tell God to forgive us for the things that we have been speaking into our lives. At the same time we ask God to forgive us also for the things that we have spoken to our children and to our situation. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And that scripture in Matthew that we just read, Jesus saw a fig tree. And since he was hungry, like most of us maybe are in a few minutes or you will be, he cast the fig tree and said, let not, let not any fruit come out of you again. You know, you will not bear any fruit anymore. You are the only one who knows in your situation on your life what is bearing fruit and what needs to be cut. You are the only one who knows what words you have been speaking. Concerning your life, concerning your marriage, concerning your children. You know, you look at your children, you look at your wife, and you're like, now, but you're the only one who says that. 
We read in the news every now and then people are murdering and killing each other. Like it happened here in Kahawasukari the other day. The other day in uh, Buru, somewhere, this lady was 12 years old and a chomo na mama yake mzazi. Ana mkatakata lafo na mwagia majimoto. Mzazi ambaya limza. Ndiyo afike hiyo extent, ni maneno ilifika musho. Akaona sasa action, ndiyo indafanya kazi. Look at the world we are living in. But the Bible reminds us, like we said, if you believe and you want anything, you will receive it through prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we need to get to that point where we tell God, God forgive us. God we repent. But at the same time, we ask God to bring a new dimension into our lives. A new dimension even into taming our tongues in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because if we don't do that, we shall just be living in church. Coming here, very smart, looking good, praising and leading the worship. Pastors preaching and the leaders talking to us. But after we go home, we go to the real devils that are living there. We go back to the real devils that we live with. Either your family, either your children, whoever. You look at the people in your life and every now and then you keep cursing them. Instead of speaking a blessing into their lives, we just speak curses. That shall not be your case in the name of Jesus. That shall not be so with you in Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So we want to get to a point and declare that that is the last time that it shall happen in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. So that we can be able to get to a point where we are able to know every time we speak. There are so many scriptures. It's just because of time. There are so many scriptures in Psalms and in Proverbs that I would, I would have given uh, to you about the tongue. Because there's a, there's a place it says it's, good, it's better to shut up than to speak. There are places it says everything went or goes well until a fool decides to open his mouth. Ask your neighbor, are you a fool? In a good way, I love to smile. Unangalia mwingine. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May you receive your miracle today. May you have a testimony about your tongue this morning. May everything that you have said be, uh, be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. May every word you ever spoke to your children and you keep regretting it. May it change by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Stand up on your feet. We'll say these two prayer points and then I'll sit down. Lift your hand and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. deliver my tongue from becoming a weapon of evil. Now when we say that, you take a point, you take a minute just to say, God, deliver my tongue, deliver my tongue, so that I don't speak. Lord. So go ahead, go ahead and say, God, deliver my tongue from becoming a weapon of evil, so that I can speak blessings. I can speak life into my situation. I can speak life into everything that I go through in Jesus' mighty name. Say, oh Lord, with my tongue. I condemn every evil tongue that is speaking against my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Condemn those tongues that are speaking against your life. Tongues that are speaking against your business. Tongues that are speaking against your marriage. Tongues that are speaking against your family. Tongues that are speaking against your ministry. Tongues that are speaking against your life. In every sector of your area of your life. Condemn them. Condemn them. That they shall speak blessings in your life. They shall speak blessings and not curses in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. And we all say Amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord, every power of words, every power of words spoken, against spoken against my life to control my destiny. Control my destiny. I destroy those words by the blood of Jesus. Come on, destroy those words. Destroy all those words. Destroy those words that have been spoken against you being in Nairobi, against you succeeding in whatever you do, against you in your school, against you in your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, destroy them. Destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroy them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, and we all say, Amen. 
Your enemies have been silenced this day in Jesus' mighty name. Everyone who spoke a word against you is being silenced in Jesus' mighty name. God is adding value in your life. God has already added value in your life. And as you leave this door, you came in limping. You shall go out limping in the name of Jesus. You came in discouraged, but you shall go out encouraged in Jesus' mighty name. You came in, uh, uh, you know, you are, you are feeling sick and you are feeling like, God, how am I going to survive this coming week? By the blood of Jesus, the word has been declared to you that you are going in strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus a clap offering this day. That is the word of the Lord for you. That is the word of the Lord for you. Do you receive it? Yes. Do you receive it? Yes. Let me pray for you for a minute before I call Bishop. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word that has come forth in power, Lord. We want to pray, Jehovah Father, that where we have gone wrong, may you forgive us, Lord. Where people have wronged us by the words that they spoke, Jehovah Father, may you forgive, may you give us the strength even to forgive them, Lord. Father, may we forgive ourselves. Father, forgive us, Jehovah Father, and may you help us to tame our tongue, Jehovah God. Thank you, Jehovah, because we know with man it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible, Lord. Speak to your people, Lord appear in their situation appear in their marriages may you heal their marriages may you heal their homes may you heal their children may you heal their businesses their ministries Lord in the name of Jesus Christ we give you praise we glorify you Lord we lift our hands and celebrate you Lord because we know you have already done it in the name of Jesus we glorify you Lord and we bless you for this we pray believing and trusting in Jesus name and let God's people say amen Amen.